If you are a medical professional, remember all cranial nerves in their order. One way they are memorized is to make a mnemonic using the first letter of each nerve. First, let's see all the nerves. Note the blue colored first alphabet. The cranial nerve one is the olfactory nerve. The cranial nerve two is the optic nerve. The cranial nerve three is the oculomotor nerve. The cranial nerve four is the trochlear nerve. The cranial nerve five is the trigeminal nerve. The cranial nerve six is the abducens nerve. The cranial nerve seven is the facial nerve. The cranial nerve eight is the auditory or vestibulocochlear nerve. The cranial nerve nine is the glossopharyngeal nerve. The cranial nerve 10 is the vagus nerve. The cranial nerve 11 is the spinal accessory nerve. The cranial nerve 12 is the hypoglossal nerve. There are some fun mnemonics to remember them. Let's see some of them. Choose what you like and remember the cranial nerves. The first one is on old Olympus's towering top of Finn and German viewed some hops. The first letter of the words matches the first letters of the nerve. Let's see the second one. Ooh, 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 to touch and feel very good velvet. Such heaven. The last one, previously the trochlear nerve was called the pathetic nerve. Paralysis of this nerve caused the patient to have a dejected look. Based on that, the mnemonic is, on occasion of parties, the attractive faces are girl visitors. Say hello. There is one more important aspect of cranial nerves, which we need to remember. Whether the nerve is sensory, motor, or carries both. The mnemonic is, some say merry money, but my brother says big brains matter more. Olfactory, optic, and auditory are sensory. It makes sense as they innervate important sensory organs nose, eyes, and ears. Oculomotor, trochlear, abducens, spinal accessory, and hypoglossal are pure motor. Remaining trigeminal, facial, glossopharyngeal, and vagus carry both sensory and motor.